Template Monster presents. Hello. People often ask me, what is a WordPress framework? That's actually a very good question because, uh, in my opinion, WordPress frameworks are often uh, underrated. They don't get enough credit. Uh, however, a lot of people use them on a daily basis, uh, and not many people actually know the, uh, uh, the very concept of, of WordPress frameworks. One of the reasons for that is actually uh, because WordPress frameworks don't have their own like exclusive uh, and unique definition. I mean, not like the, the WordPress plugins, for example. Uh, the, these frameworks have, uh, have emerged in the, uh, the developer area, uh, which is why for some time they, uh, they have remained uh, not very famous and uh, not many people knew about them. Uh, and uh, today there are two major perspectives of how you may think about the WordPress frameworks. Uh, one is the user and user uh, uh, perspective, and the other one is the uh, developer perspective. Uh, from the end user uh, standpoint, uh, WordPress framework is something that adds uh, the, the, the set of tools that are built right in uh, into the, uh, the default WordPress functionality. And uh, it may seem as if it was the, the part of, uh, of WordPress itself. Um, another, uh, another important thing from the, uh, the end user uh, perspective is that WordPress frameworks uh, bring in the number of child themes, which uh, actually are the alternate design options that you may switch on and off. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff based on which exact uh, WordPress framework we're talking about, but um, that actually is uh, is a pretty solid understanding of what uh, WordPress frameworks are uh, from the, the end user standpoint. Uh, however, the much more accurate way to think about WordPress frameworks is to think of them from the developer perspective, because that's actually how uh, uh, how WordPress frameworks have been brought to life. Uh, the, uh, the WordPress developers, like theme developers, uh, used them as their own internal toolkit for uh, producing WordPress themes more quickly, uh, for maintaining them more uh, simply and effortlessly, uh, and just to make them a lot more stable. Because uh, with this whole parent-child theme feature, uh, you actually get the functionality separated from the, the design, the, the visual component, uh, which means that uh, if you need to fix something in either of these components, you may do that without breaking something in the other component, which is a very important thing, which is uh, actually what makes WordPress framework so popular and, uh, and uh, so widely spread. Uh, and uh, that's actually why uh, thinking of them from the developer perspective is a more accurate uh, thing to do. For now, uh, the, the main value of WordPress framework still lies in the developer area. Uh, a lot of WordPress themes developers use uh, these this tools to uh, build WordPress themes faster uh, to make the process more uh, more seamless, more uh, like streamlined, etc. Uh, there's a number of popular frameworks uh, that you may find on the internet uh, today. The most popular one, the leader of the market, is clearly the Genesis framework. Uh, there's also a thesis framework. Uh, there's a Woo framework from Woo themes, the great and powerful. There's a couple of free options uh, like Cherry Framework built by Template Monster and uh, used for uh, WordPress themes creation. There's the Gantry Framework, which has clearly seen the better days than now. They, they have been uh, most popular, uh, popular a couple of years ago. Um, uh, the, the, the top frameworks on the market are not free. 
the Genesis is uh, $60 per license. Uh, thesis starts at $90 per license. There are more expensive options. Uh, and Cherry are, and Gentry are free. Uh, that, that actually, uh, that's actually it for, for now. Uh, this should give you a better understanding of uh, what WordPress theme, uh, frameworks are, uh, what they're used for. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Do you want to get an answer to any question regarding webmastering and getting your business online? Visit templatemonster.com startup hyphen hub to learn how you can bring your ideas to life.